My name is Kenny Sailors. I'm 32 years old and I'm obese. But all of that is about to change. I'm about to do something that many would consider extreme. For the next 40 days, I'm going to fast on absolutely nothing but water. First things first, before I decided to do the fast, I wanted to go back home, see my family, visit some old friends in my hometown of Greenville, Texas. Greenville's your typical small town USA. It's definitely a far cry from Los Angeles. Growing up, I went to Greenville High School, attended Greenville First Assembly, worked at Greenville Hardware, and ate lots of Greenville food. Is this me right here? Oh yeah, that's you. I think that's you. I'm pretty sure that's you. Yeah, it is. This is Kenny when he was in the band, and he was real thin then, and he played the trumpet. from the time he started walking. He liked sports and he liked to play football and he never met a stranger. He was always quite friendly with everybody. When he was in high school, he was very thin, almost frail looking. I never thought that he would ever gain this much weight. So when he started gaining weight, then he started this coughing. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Kenny said that he was going to go on a long fast. I wasn't sure if he could do it, but I knew that because he has determination that he probably could. So what is fasting and why did I choose this? Simple. Fasting has been the most proven way to detox the body and give it time to heal. Throughout history, people of many faiths, including Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and most Eastern religions, have used fasting as a healing process for spiritual purification and communion with God. Why 40 days? Well, 40 seems to be a number that is repeated in most of the holy books, and specifically in the Bible, over and over and over, so it sounded like the right number for me. I knew the smart thing to do before I started was to get a medical team on board. So I did my research and called lots of doctors, but none of them wanted to take me on. Finally, I found a place in Marina Del Rey that agreed to meet with me. Come on in, Kenny. It sounds like you've got some uh, interesting life-changing plans. Yeah, but, I want to hear more about it. Yeah, I'm obviously overweight. Uh, so mm -hmm. I've been doing research over the past year about what, what ways to really reform my health and to try to get me back on track and everything. And so, okay. uh, and then that's when I came across fasting, All just right. the water fast. And a so, water fast? Yes, a water fast for 40 days. <laughs> and, Wait, uh, you're talking about doing a water fast for 40 days? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. very extreme, Kenny. Yeah. A f water fast for 40 days is probably the most extreme type of fasting you can do, and for the longest amount of time that anyone should possibly attempt it. And you shouldn't attempt it without medical supervision. I can tell you that straight off. The, the big thing for me, the passion for me, is about the obesity epidemic in the world. In mm -hmm. my research, that's what really stood out to me. The numbers are astronomical, I mean, about how many people are overweight. According to the CDC, the number of morbidly obese across the United States has skyrocketed to over 30% in the last 20 years. Not only that, but what is obesity costing you and me, the taxpayer? Well, if you break down the cost and compare them to other taxpayer expenditures, you can see it adds up really quickly. To fly our president for one year in Air Force One cost us $500 million. All costs associated with illegal aliens in California alone cost taxpayers $9 billion a year. If you add up the money spent on the No Child Left Behind policy, it's a staggering $23 billion a year. And all costs associated with drunk driving, a whopping $24 billion a year. So how does obesity stand up to these numbers? Well, when you add up increased insurance costs, loss of work due to obesity conditions, increased Medicare and Medicaid costs, it comes to $80 billion a year. That's more than all of those other programs combined. Let's do some math here. Divide $80 billion by the total U.S. population in 2008, and what do you get? Obesity is costing $263 for every American citizen. That's man, woman, and child. So no matter what size you happen to be, it's still coming out of your pocket. 
So that made me start thinking, wow, I'm, I'm one of those statistics. Because, well, let, let me say this at least, Kenny, because I applaud you for at least taking some steps to improve your health. The number one thing, though, should be you improving your health. No, we no. can help you get well, but let us do it in the right way. Okay. Number one is you need to get uh, medical supervision. Yeah. The great thing about Lumeria, the healing spa, is we can offer full service. So we're going to introduce you to um, the medical doctor that we have on staff here. Okay. You're going to need to get a full physical, um, some right. blood work. Make sure you're healthy enough to do something right. like an extreme fast. Yeah. On, a, you know, on a personal note, I'm, I'm, you should be really proud of what you're doing. I mean, it's, it's so difficult. I don't know anyone other than you know, some, some very serious medical practitioners who attempted what you're doing. What you're doing is, is difficult. And you should be very proud that you're taking such a step to get healthy. Day five is the most difficult so far. The thought of giving up has actually crossed my mind. What stops me is realizing what my life's become and what it's going to continue to be if I let it. When you're ready to make a profound change in your life, you have to face your fears. You have to keep pushing yourself and imagine how different your life could be if you only try. <laughs> my first colonic, yeah, I know. Oh. I know. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know. I don't want to think. <laughs> on a colonic. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, I guess. They said they'll relax me a little bit, so I'm like, all right. Good. My doctors advised me that since my digestive system was going to be inactive for so long, it was necessary for me to clean out my colon. Now, most people know as much about colonics as I do, which is practically nothing. The human colon is over five feet long and the only way for it to fit into our body is by being bent and folded. After years and years of eating, pieces of food and waste become lodged in these folds, causing poor circulation, constipation, allergies, mood swings, just to name a few. Colonic hydrotherapy is an alternative medical process in which warm, filtered water gently fills the colon through the insertion of a small plastic tube. The water enters the crevices in the colon walls and removes pieces of waste. As the pressure inside the colon builds, the water is released and everything is evacuated through the hose. This process is repeated several times until the entire colon has been cleaned. Generally, patients need several colonics before all the waste is removed and they can start feeling the real benefits of a healthy colon. Colonic number one. Get ready for it. I gotta motivate myself. <laughs> I'm about to get plugged in. So you're going to be just with the nurse. She'll take care of you for the entire time. Part of what we want to do, since it's your first time that you've ever, ever, ever gotten the colonic, mm -hmm. is we want you to be really comfortable and really relaxed. I'll need to be really relaxed. You're going to be, <laughs> you're going to be fine. Ooh. I'm your nurse. I'm okay. going to help you through this session. All this right. I'll need some help. <laughs> OK. 305.2. That's down. Lost 10 pounds, exactly. Yeah. It was 315.2. Okay, so. please step off. Okay. Open in the back, not the front, because we're going to work back okay, here. Yeah. So that's how I want you to put them on. Please empty right. your bladder. Okay. Check your messages on your cell phone if you need. I'm going to just All change right. our program here. Something unspeakable is scheduled to occur And when it does, it will be a sort of relief But just for one of us Oh, the more I better on you The greater resistance will live And I feel the weight, yeah, I can feel the weight The tubing we use is thrown away. It's never used again. Okay. So don't go anywhere where they don't throw it away. Yeah. And this is a smaller tubing that we're going to be using. Okay, thank this, you. yes, <laughs> it's a small, <laughs> tiny one. A small, tiny it's very one. good. And this machine that you're using will turn off if you get too much intra-abdominal pressure. Okay. It'll turn off, so it's oh, okay. safe. It's a safety oh, okay. feature. If it gets too hot, it'll turn off. But okay. everything in a colonic is breathing, okay. because sometimes we might want to get the water around some gas. What's the difference between a colon cleanse and an enema? If you do an enema at home, you're probably only going to get up on the sigmoid side. Okay. And when I do a colonic, the reason they call it high is I can go all the way up across the transverse and all the way over here to the cecum. Oh, so I'm so getting the total the colon. colon. Oh. It's hard to do that unless you stand on your head. Now, when you're ready, Kenny, turn on your side for me and look at the bathroom door, please. This is going to be a little unusual. Nobody likes this part. 
The best thing to do is just open your mouth and breathe through your mouth. Open your mouth, go ah, and gentle push. Ah, take your time, there's two valves. Valve of Houston, as a matter of fact, for Texas. Breathe, go ah. I'm sure happen. glad you used the small one. <laughs> Good. Little tiny pillow, put your head there. Alrighty. Already going in, it's been going in. Take a deep breath, please. Good. Now the colon is closer to the back than the front, so the transverse runs along here, so sometimes if you get back aches, you know that it's your colon. Hurt you, and it sometimes helps you have bowel movements. So it was. Uh, no, it was very good. Um, the uh, the only thing that was uh, the entry was a little rough, but <laughs> after the after that, it wasn't so bad. You know? I'm very relaxed up through the whole process, actually. Yeah. Even to the end, and I'm, now I'm just tired. Right. Probably just want to go home and chill out. Yeah. Actually, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, was takeoff and landing was pretty rough, but uh, but uh, other than that, no, it wasn't so bad. I've lost 12 pounds, so not bad. That's the story. I'm going home sleeping now. It is now day 40 of my original fast. However, since we discovered during the fasting process that that we the world record was actually uh, 50. This means 40 is just another day, which kind of sucks because, but um, day 40 is now come and gone. And <laughs> so what I do, uh, so Sonia went and made me a nice little uh, 15 more days to the world record chart. So, so tomorrow I get to begin my day 41 to my final 55 days to break the record. So this is the, the new addendum to the thing. I'm getting near the end of my fast and Sonia's already finished with hers. So we decided to arrange for a group of friends to come together and talk about everything we've been dealing with and learning about these past several weeks. Whenever I told people I was going to go fasting for 40 days, they're like, what, are you crazy? Or, you know, even I had a doctor tell me, so do you have a death wish? <laughs> you know? Oh, don't, do you miss, like, a uh, good taco or guacamole? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, it's, it's funny because I really, I really don't, uh, don't, uh, don't think about it. Like, right now, I, I could, it's actually going to be as hard for me to go back to eating as it was for me to stop. Oh. How did that and, affect yeah. you? Did it? Well, right, but I, mean, I feel so good now, and I lost 40 pounds, and I still had to make Paul food, and <laughs> I was never starving, but on the fifth day, I really wanted fried chicken, <laughs> and then that kind of went away, and but I think it's because I kept watching TV, and I was watching Food Stephen Network Trump. shows. Commercials. <laughs> Overweight, you're vulnerable to people in mm -hmm. public that don't even know you, and mm -hmm. they'll judge you or say comments to you that are so hurtful that you don't really, you know, they don't really know. You already know this about yourself. You don't need to hear it. And right. Just, Does it make you more unsocial? That's what I want to know. Does it? Do you feel like maybe I shouldn't go out? Imagine what happens to the kids. That's what Let's talk about thinking. that. Let's talk about, you know, a person's yeah. overweight. So the discipline they have in the refrigerator reflects on their kids. Absolutely. So you know, that learned behavior that we were talking about. Yeah. I think. It's also kids. You've got companies like McDonald's that equals toys and Playland, mm -hmm. you know, and that's burger and fries, McDonald's. So even when you become an adult, there's still that subconscious Playland, you know? It's, it's like, a fun it's play. like a,
It must have been really extremely hard for you because you came from a fairly slim guy from high school, looking yeah, good. Very slim. Boy, she knew me in high right? school. My image of Kenny was like dancing, performing on stage, yeah. singing, yeah. this thin little guy. As you start letting yourself go mentally, you start saying, well, it's okay. Is that yeah. what you did in your yeah. mind? You, well, exactly. you convince yourself. I start saying, what's another hamburger? Yeah. I already weigh this much. If I eat one more, yeah. it's mm -hmm. easy. You know, and I'm not worried about it. I'll, I'll just eat one more, and then I'll start tomorrow. I can't tell you how many Mondays I've had in my life. I'm going to start on Monday. Bye. I'm like, I finished, you know. Yay, I get to eat something tomorrow, drink something beside the water. Take uh, 128 ounces in a gallon. Last day is here, 55 is here, and that is me, which I should cross out to him. <laughs> Yay, 55 days. 55 days, and I've drunk so much water. I will probably never be able to, to uh, drink anything but water again the rest of my life. <laughs> Completely. Uh, although I'm looking forward to making iced tea. Iced tea will taste good. Yay, 55 days. Sixty days, but that probably would have been a good idea. But I started getting like actually towards the past few days, I started getting like pains in my side. I'm gonna do carrot apple. Carrot apple yeah, sounds, sounds very good. Until it's all over. weird actually having something because I hadn't had anything, not even man's anything, just. The closest thing I even come to chewing anything was a few of straws. <laughs> when I get get stressed out, I chew straws and plastic things, <laughs> which is probably not a good habit. But how many of us are drinking? They all need to be. Yeah, everybody should try. Here it is. Day well, 56 now, I guess, huh? No. <laughs> Cheers, I finished, yay! Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're still alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bright light, getting bigger. <laughs> um, yeah, it's weird. I mean, it tastes good, it's like, but it's weird. <laughs> What that, do you think? Do you I like think it's it? actually really good. Mm -hmm. And the first time you had your made carrot juice? Well, freshly squeezed carrot juice, you, you can't get this stuff in bottles. It man. actually tastes really yeah. good. Hmm. Well, that's that. This is good. There we and go, guys. We're all done. I'm a little disappointed I didn't lose as much weight as I thought I would, but who can complain about losing like 50 pounds or 44 or whatever the crap was? <laughs> five from your waist? Yeah, five something inches from my waist. No, I'm very happy. I certainly don't regret it. Anytime I lose any weight, I don't regret it. Huh? But the important thing is that what I disregarded in this because I went 55 days, because actually about, you know, a few days, probably a few days before this, my hunger actually came back <clears throat> and I let it cycle again and you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to let your hunger cycle again once you've been so long. Mm -hmm. But of course, I was going for a world record, so I thought I'd let do it, but that got into danger zone. Were there any uh, particular craving type of food? Yeah, well, uh, pretty much anything with the word fast and food <laughs> conjoined, <laughs> yeah. But then it's just making a conscious choice. Like, okay, I can have this fried chicken that's not good for me, or I can have the same basic ingredient of chicken baked and it's healthy for me. But the good thing, I feel like now 
down and like at the starting line. Click on screen for more videos of extraordinary humans.